What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel for the love of cards where we rip new boxes, old boxes, hobby boxes, retail and everything else in between. In today's video I'm actually not going to be opening up any Pokemon products. I'm just, I'm just going to be doing a guide to help any parents, any significant other who wants to get Pokemon cards or Pokemon boxes, uh, Elite Trainer boxes, uh, tins, whatever the case may be for the holidays. So if you're not aware and your significant other or your child loves Pokemon, hopefully this give you a, will give you a quick recap on what things you should buy for Christmas so um, yeah if you guys like if you guys can help me out and like this video uh, if you're a kid watching this or a significant other who wants this as a gift for Christmas share this video to them that way it gives them a breakdown of what to buy so um, I don't have a lot of well I'm just gonna get right into it I don't have a lot of products um, a lot of the stuff I already disposed so but yeah so I just got a couple of stuff here so I'm starting off with the low-end one so you have your basic packs Then you have your tins. There's a bunch of tins. Usually if you go to your Target, your Walmart, your Fred Meyer, they'll usually will have some Pokemon tins available. Those aren't as popular. Um, but so I'll put a, like a, a quick clip of what the tins look like. So those are your best bet to get uh, as far as budget. Those are on the lower end side of it. Um, but then you have your higher end products. So these are your higher end products. So you have your Vivid Voltage Elite Trainer Boxes. Elite Trainer Boxes are a step down from booster boxes. Booster boxes are the next level, which again, I don't have. I truly apologize. But um, Elite Trainer Boxes, they're great products. They're really hard to find in retail because people buy them up and uh, sell them on the secondary market. But if you get a chance, if you go to your Target and you see the vendor and you see like this Champion's Path, I would definitely recommend getting it and then for Christmas because this is awesome. So um, Elite, the Champion's Path is the best one to get out of the, out of this, uh, well, out of fourth quarter Pokemon releases. Champion's Path is the best because you can pull, I believe, two or three different type of Charizards. The Rainbow Charizard is the best one. Then you have your Secret Rare. And then you do get a promo card Charizard out of this one. So um, you're guaranteed to get at least one promo card Charizard. This is more expensive though. This is $50 uh, retail on the secondary market. I believe they're selling for like $70 to $80. So, but if your kid absolutely wants a Charizard and that's what they want to get, or they play Pokemon, this is what I recommend you guys get. Um, this is great because the Elite Trainer Boxes come with sleeves, they come with a player's guide, they come with energy packs, coins, dices, a lot, a lot of products. If you guys wanna see me do a breakdown of this product, the card will be right here, so that way you guys can see what actually comes in these uh, in this product. So, uh, Champion's Path is your best bet. However, to get, it, to get these at retail, it is pretty, pretty hard at the moment so then recently what came out after champions path was this vivid voltage uh uh i guess product the next product so vivid voltage was the next one um so this is retailing for 40 dollars because you don't get the promo like you do with the elite trainer box um i did this upside down so oh you also do get a poster with this sleeve so that way if your kid loves pokemon um they'll be able to use the actual packaging for their uh you know room decor or whatever so then comes the vivid voltage the vivid voltage is not a higher end not higher end like the champion's path because you don't get the the Charizard or a promo card but you could pull a base Charizard or you can pull the fat rainbow Pikachu there's still great cards you can pull out of this I also have a video of breaking that one down I pulled a rainbow uh, Pokemon card which the card will be right up there if you guys want to check that out as well so um, these aren't as popular so you might be able to find these at your local target at your local uh, you know retail providers so um, but yeah again you guys get you guys get sleeves you guys get energy cards pretty much anything your kid needs to start playing Pokemon with their friends or whatever so you get dice there's a player guide it will show everything that, that your kid needs to start playing and again you do get a nice little poster um, with the product so your kid can hang that up so but that covers the elite trainer boxes now if you have an avid uh you know, if you're ha if you have a kid who's super avid, knows how to play the game, and you just want to get them more cards so they can play and battle with their friends, I would then say get a booster box. 
Booster boxes go for about 150, and you get, uh, I believe, like 36 packs. So I believe that's a lot. That's a, that's a lot of packs and a lot of cards for them to pull, so they can play with their friends and fa uh, family or whatever the case they they, they want to use those for. Those retail for about 140. Again, pretty hard to find, but. As far as the budget goes, that's the next product above these ETBs. And then the granddaddy of them all, this is the Swords and Shields uh, Elite, not the Elite Trainer Box, the Swords and Shields Ultra Premium Collection Box. So this box retails for $100. So uh, as far as booster box is the best, but as far as like value, um, this would be the next step up. So I got this actually for $150. Um, from a secondary market like blur from blowout cards an like online store But I got this right when it came out so I can do a product review for the channel So you guys can see if you guys want to watch the video again the card will be right up here But this is a really cool box. I like it I love the way the gold looks you do get a bunch I've already did a, a opening so you get a bunch of cards I can't remember how much packs you get you do get a bunch of like beautiful These are solid dice like those were plastic that you saw in the ETBs. These are awesome. These are like heavy sturdy uh, beautiful Beautiful, beautiful packaging you got you got beautiful card dividers card sleeves everything you need so uh, again if, it, if your kids an avid uh, player he'll know or he or she will know what everything is so you do get a player's guide and the good thing about this is you do get these uh, beautiful gold um, cards so you get the Zacian and the Zemazenta um, so these retail or these can be sold for uh, anywhere from 50 to 90 dollars right now on eBay so these are popular so you do get these guaranteed with this so if your kid wants to flip these or get in like flipping collecting trying to make money off Pokemon cards I would say this is the best bet because you're guaranteed to get that but you can also get something really cool like I pulled a beautiful rainbow uh, Pokemon which I don't have but you do get a lot of uh, rainbow, not rainbow rare, excuse me. You get hollows, you get awesome. You just get a lot of good products out of this one. So um, as far as budget wise, this is going to be your higher end. The booster box and the uh, ultra collection box is going to be your highest. Uh, as far as budget, then would be the booster box. And then you get the elite trainer boxes would be your next step. Then you got your uh, V boxes. Which I don't have with me either, but I'll link it right there. I did an opening up of V Box as well. It's gonna be right here. You do get this with the V Boxes. You do get this oversized Pokemon card, uh, super shiny. Gar also guaranteed to get it, but really awesome card. So you got your V Boxes. That would be the next step down from Elite Trainer Boxes. Then you have your tins, and then you have your just your regular pa uh, packs, which are thicker ones. And then you have your regular very thin pack so a lot of products to choose but if you're buying them from retail from target or anything else whatever the price is on those are the best price for that product so you're not going to get ripped off but if you're buying off secondary market be very weary always double check what the prices are and i will do a quick clip of me searching what products are currently selling for on ebay that way if you guys want to get like the, say the champion's path on the secondary market like offer up craigslist facebook marketplace uh, I'll do a quick recap on how to check what they're currently selling for um, and how to actually negotiate to get a better deal on these products. So, all right, well, I'll do that clip right now. So let's go to the laptop. Alrighty, guys, we are on eBay.com at the moment. So this is how you would check what products are currently selling for on the secondary market. So you just go to eBay.com and then you just type in the uh, the product. So let's say it's the Vivid Voltage ETB. So uh, ETB is short for Elite Trainer Box. So this is not the screen you want. You want to scroll down to because these are what our things are currently selling for or what people are asking. You want to scroll down all the way down to the pretty much the last column here and you want to hit sold items um, sold and completed items is automatically going to pre-populate if you accidentally hit the completed items you do have to go and hit the sold items too but if you just hit the sold items the completed items will pre-populate automatically so all right so when you go up to the screen it's always going to have what recently sold right at the top so like for example this one sold it was the uh as you can see the booster box and the elite trainer box um sold for 220 that's not what we need that doesn't give us an accurate comp um but yeah so i just scroll down so boom right off the bat i can see it sold on december 9th 
and uh, we're recording on December 9th. So yeah, looks like uh, this sold for $46. Next one down sold for $48, $46. Uh, this one seemed to be like a little outlier, and it's from the UK, so that's kind of weird. So, but um, I wouldn't use this one because if if so, the the person who's selling the product will be able to see the screen just as much as you can. So if they do say, well, this one sold for 64, be like, yeah, but look at it, it's UK. You can't use UK as a you know that's that's different so this one for example sold for 64 but it looks like it was two of them that sold so that's not what we want to use um then you can see 10 etbs in uh, in this one so 365 you can do the average divide that by uh 365 divided by 10 that gives you an average this one sold for 40 dollars which is kind of weird to me because these retail for 40 so this individual actually lost money because you have to pay uh, about 15% in fees total. So this person actually lost money on the transaction. So that's kind of weird. Um, again, 61. So I, I mean, just looking at the most recent sale, I would say this is actually selling for around 45 to 50 dollars. So um, which I actually don't mind. My theory is, or my rule of thumb is, I don't pay more than 10 dollars over retail. If I can get it for five dollars, great. 10 dollars uh, is is my max. That's what I usually pay. Or, pay for uh, retail on the secondary market um, or over retail in the secondary markets to say so that gives us an idea on what the vivid voltage now if you want to search for another product is easy all you got to do is go up there and then hit let's say it's the champions pass ETB so which I already have that pretty populated and uh, as long as you have that that uh, sold items button hit it's already going to have you on that sold so you don't have to go back down but it's always double good to double check make sure that uh, this these two buttons are clicked so but as you can see the etbs are currently selling for there's one again th they're gonna have some outliers like this one's all three of them but look this one sold for 66 60 uh i don't know what this one is this one's kind of weird but um uh don't look at the brakes either but so 60 so i'm seeing that this product is selling for anywhere from like 60 this is the promo card that you get when you buy this box so but yeah so 60 55 uh also another thing too if you see a dash through that means that this is this somebody offered uh him or this person to buy the product so that this actually didn't sell for 230 it sold for uh we don't know we don't know they don't disclose that but so you always want to look for a solid one so i would say this product is currently selling for 60 dollars uh which again it's my rule of thumb is max i'll pay is 10 dollars so um because this again sells for retail so i will show you how to how i negotiate when it comes to products so let's say for example the ultra premium is going to be your best bet because those are um, higher marked at the moment. So if you look over here, the ultra premium box are selling for 132, uh, 145, 132, uh, 250, but I believe that's two, yeah, so that's two. Uh, so what, about 125? Uh, 130, 112, so you have a couple of outliers here, 120. So I would say 125 is about average. So how I negotiate is I then, let's get our calculator pulled up. How I negotiate when it comes to prices is, so I'll take 125 and times 15% or times 0.15 um, because that's what the seller is going to pay for fees, uh, eBay fees, PayPal fees, any transaction fees. So then you would just do 125. And then I would offer them this. I would go to them and say, hey, I will offer you $106 and 20, well, just round it up to, I don't know, 107 or 106. Say, hey, you're going to be, if you sell this product on eBay and you sell it for what comps are currently selling for, you're going to walk away with $106 profit um, or total 106 and, um, and so, and the, you don't have to deal with shipping and you don't have to deal with returns. Cause when you sell on eBay, you got, you have to deal with shipping, you have to deal with returns. So, um, that way you just say, Hey, I'll give you 106 cash right now. You'll never see me again. You don't have to deal with shipping. You don't have to deal with returns. And most of the time they will take it. Cause once you give them that breakdown, like, Hey, you know, if you do sell this, you'll have to pay shipping. You'll have to deal with returns so when you give them that perspective then they're like okay well hey this actually if i sell this for one uh, one six right now i will make a profit walk away because like i said these retail for um 
$100. So let's say even $110, you offer them $110, um, they'll take it. It's a $10 profit for them, whatever. It's a good uh, kudos. You, you made $10 for wasting your time. So, but yeah, that's how I negotiate when it comes to buying products. It usually works 90% of the time. Sometimes you get some people that are just so set on selling it for the amount they want. But hopefully this gives you a breakdown when you buy products on the secondary market like Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, Craigslist, whatever the case may be. So yeah, hopefully this helped you guys out to see what comps are currently selling for on the product. Hopefully it helps you to search um, comps and hopefully it showed you a little bit how to negotiate to get a better deal on the product. So that wraps it up for the laptop. Let's head back to the desk. Alrighty, we're back at my desk. So hopefully that helped you guys figure out what kind of Pokemon cards you should be getting for your significant other or your kids for Christmas and our holidays or birthdays, whatever the case may be. So obviously, again, just to do a quick recap, your highest end product will be the booster box. Then you have your ultra premium collection. Then you have your ETBs, then your V boxes, then your tins, then your fat packs, and then your small packs. So um, there's, there's, there's a good variety for every budget out there for Christmas. So, um, hopefully this video helped you figure out what to get your kid for Christmas. Uh, if they're vocal and they want the champion's path, try to get in the champion's path. Obviously they know what they want. Um, but my biggest recommendation per value would be the swords and shield ultra premium collection. Again, you get those two gold, beautiful promo cards. Um, and then, so if your kid doesn't need those, he can sell them. You can sell them for them and get your money back from the box and and pretty much think about it all the rest of the products the dice the sleeves the uh, the dividers everything is free pretty much so if you think of it that way so all right well that wraps it up for me guys hopefully this helped you guys figure out what kind of products to get your significant other your kids for christmas that wraps it up for me uh happy holidays from my family to yours merry christmas happy new years and uh hopefully you guys pull something really good so for the love of cards keep hunting